so perfect so loved every bit yeah. of it and uh, so you know we know about you you know known about you know your past and you know how you came into this uh, you know now let's let's talk something about you know what maybe probably you know uh, say about business you know sure. so i would want to ask one thing you know uh, today it's all about technology everywhere no doubt so how big does technology play a role in your business in this business a huge role in fact we uh, the one of the reason and and share this with you uh, we got funded in a way obviously we are a brick and mortar company mm -hmm. thankfully we will be we'll never have e-commerce and home delivery and stuff which actually protects us in its own way uh, it'll always be a product which is very simple beer is a very simple product as a product there's nothing uh, scientific about it or you need innovation in it you just need consistency a 400 year old time a beer was made it has to be made the same way so it's as simple yes but one of the reasons uh, a mayfield which is one of the funds that funded us which is a highly technology oriented fund so it's invested in 500 companies across the globe mainly technology driven mm -hmm. they saw that technology bent into it because technology is basically a great enabler or a great tool for you to scale up and that's it, that is what we use we use technology heavily so we have almost 17 to 18 different platforms we use in our basic operation which you don't see and i call it the duck effect uh, and and why do i call it the duff, duck effect is if you see a duck in in a pond you know or in a lake on a waterfront mm -hmm. so the duck is absolutely serene it's just but you would not believe there's a lot that the duck is going through the duck is actually paddling like crazy so that's called the duck effect so there's a lot that is under the i side that you don't yeah. see so same you want to same say thing. So, there's so, a lot many things so are going you behind here, you know system you know. but you'll not yeah. even but but here you would come and experience your beer you will have a great time you will have your beer and you'll be calm because you're coming here to de-stress we are here to give you an experience but there's a lot that we do perfect sir yes. and one more thing you know uh, need to you know know a bit about you know the uh, role you know social media plays so you know as you know i, I always say you know social media is like fire you can you know burn your house down you can cook your food yeah. and in today's time you know what is really happening is uh, that you know uh, the kind of you know posts that come because even if you don't give someone a 10% discount he or she would go yeah. on a site or on your facebook sure. page or you know anywhere and you know post negative about it so how has your experience been with this okay you call it a fire i call it a mirror so when you stand in front of a mirror you need to you know the mirror has two sides to it mm -hmm. you have to be true to yourself so in a mirror you can see all your flaws also that's what you do yeah yes, yes. you stand in front of a mirror you see all your flaws it is something i wouldn't call it an evil but it's a necessary that every uh, consumer facing company should definitely embrace we do that too we have a lot of social media assets so apart from facebook the instagram the twitter and uh, the new ones which are coming up i strongly believe in it okay it connects people uh, beer in itself is a community lubricant you know it's a social lubricant beer is for communities you never drink alone you normally drink together so if you are looking at communities facebooks and the other social medias are actually community places so they bring people together so we have to be it the uh, the dirty side to it which you mentioned and it's happened across the world uh, people would come and say we would trip advisor something to you or a zomato something to you we actually have never bothered we we uh, take everything with a pinch of salt we really we have never gotten blackmail we'll never do that you can actually read through uh, and figure out whether it's a genuine one yes. the genuine ones we call back so what one one rule of thumb is we respond to every comment we get Uh, because we are people dedicated to do that every comment we because the person is written to you you need to respond it's very simple you made an effort you pay people to do uh, misty audits here somebody is writing for you mm -hmm. it's it's god sent you know yeah. so then you need to respond but you can read through it you can make out this person is genuine he's had a bad time he's had a very poor experience you need to come up to him and say yes i made a mistake and this is what i'm going to correct myself and i'll learn from what you said but a person tries to blackmail we don't give two hoots i actually never cared about it we had a talk around 2 years back and you mentioned a very uh, good thing you know you mentioned two things one you mentioned that your employee retention ratio is very good the attrition is really low sure. you also mentioned that you know almost all the employees that you have are graduates so we are 548 uh, people right now as we speak okay uh, we are we are uh, hiring 150 people every month at this time in space uh, which is a pretty good roll out people are actually laying people off we are hiring people which is a good thing to do uh, our attrition level as of october 31st uh, october 30th based on our hr was 3% which is very low it's actually 80 90% in the qsr business uh, reason the two fund two reasons why i we, i personally believe that our attrition is very low one uh, uh, we don't have employees to start with all of them you ask anybody nobody is an employee they are partners 
So everybody is a partner and there's a reason for it. Every person in our company has shares in the company. This is not for the management. You mean to say every even the housekeeping. Even the housekeeping guy who sweeps the floor wow. has, has awesome. shares. Yeah. Yeah. It's very difficult to do it. Yes, it's very complicated as an instrument. Yeah. It's, it's pretty tough. Yeah. But when you, like I said, you have to do it. You have to do it. So it took me seven, eight months with my board to do that. So you, you just go and ask anybody, bring him to the table right now and, and he'll, he'll, he'll talk about it themselves. You know, I don't have to basically, uh, you know, um, blow my own trumpet. But God, coming from a point that I think that brings them the sense of belongingness to start with, I that agree. yes, we belong. Where ESI, EPF comes into play, and we obviously are very compliant with that. Mm -hmm. But it happened with us, an incident happened that one of our boys actually got hurt in, while going back home. And you know the closest uh, because there's an ESI policy, uh, we had to be admitted. Yes. But I actually went there and I was actually taken aback. The kind of money we pay to ESI, which is a government fund, mm -hmm. I think what they were getting in return was really it was not even you know you thought things would be in place. It's actually really bad. So we thought I can't I can't fight the system. There's not I'm not going to go to Jantar Mantar and say I will not pay ESI. Yes. I will pay the ESI. That's part of my the compliance as a, as a company. But we made our own health program. So we have HDFC Ergo. We created a huge program. We took it even one more step that the program included the dependents, not just themselves. I'm also covered by the same program. And it's almost an unlimited health benefit that we did. Now, that helps. So even if I get sick or I have to you know, break my leg, my company covers me for it. And equally to a housekeeping person. So we are all flesh and blood. We, I'm a little more privileged. God's been kind, but you know, I don't think if it requires medication, we're both the same human beings. One thing, you know, uh, I wanted to ask, uh, you know, your LinkedIn profile says, you know, a f you're a focused yeah. entrepreneur. There's a reason to it. Uh -huh. So I want to know the reason. The reason is the same, I said. So I was a serial entrepreneur. Bada maza aata hai, serial entrepreneur, serially kaam karenge, serial kisser, you know, like, serial, serial. I was thinking that five, six serial bana diye, us sab mein pitai hogi. To have focus. So that day I changed it. When I said I'm going to drop all my entrepreneur. So I'm not saying people cannot do it. People can multitask. I try to do it. It's very tough. Uh, it might be possible in certain parts of the world. I'll tell you in India, it is not easy to run a company. Yeah. You open a company very easy. Char ghante mein see aapki company bana dega. Usko band karke dikhao. Usko chala ke dikhao. It's tough. So when you got five, six of them, with too many, uh, you know, I would say balls in the air. Why would you like to do that? I tried it. It gives you a high being a serial yes. entrepreneur. Are we here? No. I'll become a serial investor one day for sure. That's the time when I'll be able to cash so out. So you already you answered, you know, one yeah. of my questions no, no, which I'm supposed to For sure, to going to be a serial entrepreneur. Your company name says, you know, it's uh, BTV India. Yeah. And that means? Better than before. Better than before. So that is our company's mantra. The, like I said, at the end of the day, it's like running a marathon, okay? In the, if you run, I, I used to run a lot. Two years I've not been able to run, I broke my ankle and now I'll be able to run back. But in a marathon, you're in your own zone. Can you believe you never ever fight or compete with another person? You'll never see in a marathon, everybody running to, who oh, kitna bhaag hai kar hai. In a sprint, you do that, right? Yes. In a marathon, you're running for yourself and you run for your, you better your time. Every time you ask a marathon guy, he'll always talk about his nice. time. He'll say, I am now below 56, I'm below 58, I'm at 54 minutes. Why does he say that? Because he's running against his own. So the only objective of life should be to better yourself. That's it. If you better yourself, you will be very good. I don't want to look at your, your life. So, and that's how, you know, BTV India, that's which how, is that's better called, than before. That's called comes. better than before, yeah. Awesome, awesome, Ji. So, you know, in your office, you have a small doll of Jeff Gracia also, yeah. you know, which uh, is symbolic of comeback of, you know, Craziest 2003 comeback, yeah. NFL games. Yeah. So, this is how better than before also links and... Uh, yeah, so like, people don't know American football as much. I work with an American uh, company. I also work for NFL making clothes for them. So a little bit of the American, I've seen Super Bowl, which is a privilege in itself. It's like India-Pakistan, you know, finals live. But Jeff Garcia has been the best comeback kid, you know. And so that also is a little, you know, reason for me to see every day that, yes, I've tried to come back. I've put in my own efforts. Like I said, you come back from certain down pits. So it's like, you know, it yeah. could be, you know, an entrepreneurial mantra that, you know, because many times you keep failing and sometimes you reach your lowest of ebb. And then, you know, somehow you grab, gather all your strength and you say, I'll, uh, you know, fight back. And then, you know, it's a matter of time only. You know, it's so a spring, no? If it will go down, it has to go up. 
unless it's such a bad spring that it <laughs> never goes up. But I'm just saying, yeah, it 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 usually goes up. You know? Was there any point you were not able to come back like a spring? No, it happened. So then I said, like at the end of the day, everything gone. Five companies in disaster, money lost, lot of things not. Can't get a job. Obviously, you, textile engineer gone into the field of F and B. Obviously, can't get an F and B job because nobody thinks I'm F and B qualified. I can't go back to textile because I become so old at the textile. They'll say, "Tumhe to kuch pata hi nahi abhi kya ho gaya," you know, like. So I'm like, now what do I do? Um, so the, you know, at that stage you say, okay, I'm going to put all in. Like, uh, I won't call it a gamble in its own way, but like they show in movies, ki sab kuch bas ye, you know, it's like. So then you put your own house in. So will this also be your message to the, you know, budding entrepreneurs or existing entrepreneurs? You know, keep. Bouncing back, you know, do something better than before. So, as a budding entrepreneur, it also depends on the on, on I would say the stage. Okay. Uh, one thing is for sure. While I was in my twenties, it was difficult to be an entrepreneur. I had never heard the word entrepreneur. Yeah. So to start with, the heck, I word, you know, you know, you won't even know. Uh, uh, obviously, we were very typical, either an engineer and doctor. So forget even even any other allied uh, program. It was only engineer doctor. So my sister was supposed to be a doctor, was supposed to be an engineer. I became an engineer. Sister actually became a fashion designer. It had nothing to do with a doctor, but that is how we were kind of tuned in. But coming back to it, today you have vocations, you've got things. Even entrepreneurs is a part of an IMA program. With more entrepreneurs coming out of IMA, why would you know go to IMA and become an entrepreneur? So I think things have changed. It is the right time to be an entrepreneur. It was a little difficult and different earlier, but I'm saying it's the right time. And having said that, you really don't have to be an age. I'm saying when you're 20 something, you have nothing to lose. Okay, you can take more larger risk. But that doesn't mean an elder person can't take a risk. The person whom I really admire, who founded the best F&B company in the world, is the largest F&B company in the world. It's called McDonald's. He founded McDonald's at the age of 54. His name is Roy Kroc. He's no more there, but he founded it. Person who founded WhatsApp, which is the latest thing that we all founded when he was 46. So I think there are a lot above 40 and 50s and 60s who founded companies in the US. There are 60s and 70s, 80s still being an entrepreneur. At the age of 80, you're being an entrepreneur. So I think uh, entrepreneurs have one thing. It's like thakna mana hai. That's what I keep telling everyone. Thakna mana hai. Batteries can't be discharged. You can, you know, pick me up at any time in the day or night, and you say, "Chalu ho ja." So I'll start off. That's so you know, one more, you know, thing is thakna mana hai. So success is a consequence. You yeah. can not be guaranteed. Jee. It's a consequence. But you're not thinking anything. तो चांसेस हैं कि भगवान आपका साथ देगा एक चीज आपके बारे में जो दुनिया नहीं जानती है यू नो दे वुड वांट टू नो दैट पार्ट ऑफ राहुल सिंह आल्सो माय वाइफ इज ट्राइंग टू फिगर दैट आउट सो सो आई विल टेल यू सो द वन थिंग इज आई ऑलवेज लव टू सिंग एंड आई एम नॉट बीन एबल टू सिंग टू इवन सेव यू नो एनीथिंग नो आई एम नॉट बीन एबल टू सिंग एवर सो वी ट्राइड दिस कराओके थिंग एट होम एंड इट्स अ डिजास्टर बट इन स्पाइट ऑफ दैट आई वुड गेट ग्रेट मार्क्स इन इट बिकॉज़ आई कुड फज दैट आल्सो देयर इज अ वे सो शी इज अ शी इज एन अनबिल शी इज एन अनबिलीवेबल सिंगर and she would get 70 80 points i'd get 90 points because there's a way you sing loudly and you speak into the mic wo bechara software hil jata hai so it starts to give you better marks so ye kya ho raha hai so you know we've gone through that i don't remember any songs at all because you know i remember people's phone numbers i remember my credit card numbers i remember everything i'm a very numbered person but I, you know there is god's been not kind on the other side of the creativity the creativity is at home she's extremely creative in everything she does Uh, to the point, even the outlets, all the all the creation which is there, Jeez. we have obviously architects and the whole companies do. But she takes the final call. She puts that last element of ye plant asa aega. She understands it. I can't make a rose to a lotus. Ki meko to so for me, it's, I'm a absolutely. You might think a creative person, but actually the reverse. I'm very very analytical. I'm a deep dive person. I research a lot. I'm a very numbered guy. I live and sleep on numbers. I'm I'm a very numbered guy. So uh, yes the passions do I have I'm a very large single malt collector probably the largest in India huh? so I collect a lot of single malts I don't devour them so I don't I'm not drinking them like you know crazy so we have a group of friends we do that I have done four trails on single malts across Scotland to learn more about it so I sell beer but single malts my passion the other passion I have is bikes so I have I'm a part of a lot of biking communities uh, I love that that gives me release in the morning on Saturdays and Sundays I've ridden across India Uh, in my much, uh, much, much, I would say I'm not saying much younger days. So I did 26,000 kilometers in 24 days with a group of friends. So there's a lot that you know gone on to that cycle. But I'd like said uh, passion and business don't go hand in hand. A lot of people say you should be. I, I basically say don't make your passion a business. Make your business passionate. You know, छोटा सा difference है. 
बट बहुत बड़ा आपको फर्क लगेगा यू नो योर बियर इज नॉट योर पैशन नो इट्स नॉट माई बिजनेस आई एम वेरी पैशनेट अबाउट बियर इज नॉट माई पैशनेट ऑल इन फैक्ट आई आई लाइक आई सेट आई स्टार्टेड ऑफ सींग दैट आई आई डोंट लाइक दैट बेवरेज एज मच इट्स माई ओन पर्सनल थिंग अब उससे क्या लेना देना हल्दी राम probably doesn't need his bujiya <laughs> but that's runs his whole you know the whole i would say haldiram and his entire clan run on uh, bujiya only but chances are mr agarwal doesn't need bujiya theek hai ab awaaz aa rahi hai perfect aa na 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 na